<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's Chris here with Fandroid. Um, it gets a little lonely, I guess, since seeing how as I'm the night guy, it gets a little lonely here on my shift. So um, I figured I would just um, try to uh, keep up on some videos and just do some maybe nightly vlog type things. I'm just talking about some of the bigger news that happened throughout the day. Um, the one that's pretty much been on my mind, I guess the biggest news from today, is the fact that the Google Motorola merger has finally been approved. I guess the final uh, obstacle that was standing in their way has uh, finally cleared today. Um, the only thing that was, I guess they were waiting on was China to give them the thumbs up and uh, China went ahead and cleared that for, for takeoff. So um, now things will get interesting. Um, and I guess that's just what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, um, or tonight rather. Uh, there's just been a lot of, I guess, talk and chatter around the interwebs on exactly what this means now. Um, the Motorola CEO is out and they're replacing him with this new Google guy. And the same goes for a lot of the Motorola executives. Uh, apparently, um, some of their top level guys are all being um, laid off or they're just moving, moving along. <laughs> and uh, being replaced by some new Google people. Uh, which is making a lot of people think. I mean, of course, there is talk that um, our people are automatically going to assume or hope, rather, that uh, now that Google is taking the reins of Motorola and it's finally been approved and everything's gone through, that uh, Google is just going to release nothing but stock Android devices, all running ice cream sandwich with unlocked bootloaders and um, just like... It's just like the second coming of Android, I guess, but uh, really it's probably most definitely not going to work out that way. Um, feel free to hold me to it if I'm wrong, but I really don't think I will be, but um, pretty much nothing is going to change. Google has said before in the past that they will continue operating Motorola as a separate entity, and it's just pretty much business as usual, uh, besides the fact that they have a Google guy um, kind of taking over. Uh, I still think that we'll see uh, probably some changes as far as like the types of devices that are being coming out. Um, Google said uh, today that they're going to focus on fewer and bigger bets. So Motorola, I guess you guys probably won't know if you're just in the U.S. and stuff, but they're um, in all those other countries that are outside of the U.S. Um, I know it sounds weird that there are other countries out there, but um, all those countries, there's a ton of Motorola devices. There's stuff that we've never even seen here in the U.S., so um, apparently they're just going to focus on fewer devices. You won't have a Motorola Razr, then Motorola Droid Bionicle Razr HD, and then Motorola Dryonicle 4G. Um, it'll just be fewer devices, which is cool. Um, of course, this is all just lip service until we see something, you know, some hard evidence. We heard the same thing from HTC, and they still kind of started bringing out all these weird variants and stuff because, and I guess this is my main point on why uh, we pretty much won't see any um, real big changes, is you guys have to remember the carriers in the U.S. hold all the power. So I don't care if you're Google or Motorola or whoever the heck you are, um, make no mistake, the carriers have the power. So they don't want a hundred Android devices on their network all running stock Android. So that's just never going to happen. And if Motorola hopes to, I guess, di differentiate themselves, uh, which they do, which every Android manufacturer wants to do, that's why they put all these skins and the HTC senses and the touch whizzes and stuff, they want to be different from everyone else. I mean, it just makes sense. Like, if you had your own company, I highly doubt you're just going to release stock Android phones um, because it's just not really anything different. But, I don't know. Then again, I guess there's so many skinned Android UIs out there that maybe if a company did just focus on stock Android, it would kind of differentiate themselves. But um, it really wouldn't because anyone could release a stock Android phone, but not everyone can just release an HTC Sense device or a moto blur device so um, don't expect to see a bunch of stocked um, Android I guess the only thing I'm hoping to get out of this whole ordeal is that I'm hoping hoping that hopefully or the only request I even have is that this will now bring about unlocked bootloaders I mean that sounds a little more 
practical than I guess just expecting Motorola to just release stock Android devices and all this stuff but um, unlocked bootloaders I think that is something Google might want to do with their phones but um, even then it's still a little bit far-fetched and a little bit out there it doesn't really seem too likely just given the fact that um, a lot of the times bootloaders isn't really up to the manufacturer at all it's not up to Google it's not up to anybody but the carriers like I mentioned before the carriers have all the power um, AT&T recently locked down the HTC One X and they um, swallowed the key they tossed it away <laughs> they shat it did whatever but um, that that device has been locked down tight um, as per the request of AT&T so again another thing that doesn't really seem likely but I don't know that's pretty much my only request I hope to see out of this whole Google Motorola thing um, I'm curious to hear what your guys thoughts are um, I've already seen a couple of um, some comments on the original post that we posted earlier today um, about the announcement but um, for all the people on YouTube and stuff I'm not even sure if I'll put this in an actual post but I just want to hear your guys' thoughts and I want to hear what you guys think about the whole merger now that it's finally complete it's been almost a full calendar year January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August yep it was August of last year that it was officially announced and it's August is barely like a month away so um, it's almost been a full year but I just want to hear what your guys' expectations are or what some cool things you would like to see um, I don't think we'll see <laughs> Nexus devices nothing but Nexus devices coming out of Motorola although I mean yeah I agree that would be awesome it's just it's not likely um, where it is though that uh, the rumor mill is churning talking about the fact that there will be multiple Nexus devices um, across different manufacturers and stuff which I think would make perfect sense but I guess that's just a whole other topic for another time. Um, hopefully we'll see more at Google I.O. I will be at Google I.O. with my trusty little camera taking um, video and everything and all that stuff. But, okay, this video's gone long enough. Um, just let me hear your thoughts. Um, leave your comments and stuff down below. And um, thanks for watching, guys, and for keeping me busy on this very late, late Tuesday night. <laughs> this is Chris Chavez signing off.